morning number two of our four day trip up here in Idaho. Came over through a different area. I've never been or anywhere near this trail. Oh. <laughs> I reached my toe under there. Shifted into neutral again. Anyway, I'm on the 2020 300 XC. Yesterday I rode the uh, 250 and I tipped over in a river and dunked my dunked my camera in the river and then I had to leave the battery out the rest of the day. So it's working again today. And we're good to go. So I didn't shoot a lot of footage yesterday because it was drying out. Um, but yesterday, the 250XC, it was my first uh, ride on it, and the thing was awesome. Today, um, I'm riding the 300XC. Both bikes, I have them set up identically. Same everything on the bikes, even down to the brand new fresh tires that I have on them. And so, Unless you're looking at the side of the bikes, you cannot, t or where it says 250 versus 300, you can't tell the difference. And even when you're riding them, the differences are so freaking subtle. Of course, this one being the 300 has a little bit more low end. The bike's just about up to oper operating temperature right now, I would say. And these counterbalance two-stroke TPI motors, holy Jezebel, do they run crisp and clean. I've only had one TPI that I didn't love the way it ran. It was my 2019 300 XCW uh, TPI. We ended up putting a GET ECU on the sucker. Sam is riding the bike right now, right behind me. And because we're still trying to put hours on that bike. Uh, we're trying to get that thing up to 100 and then we'll pull some things off and look at it. And I may keep that bike to 200 hours. Just keep it as one of my hard enduro bikes, backup bikes, buddy bikes. It has nearly 70 on it as of today. And that sucker, there's 70 hard hours. I have not put harder hours on any of my bikes than what I'm doing to that. Uh, 2019 300 TPI. We're just beating the hell out of it. The dust is just hanging just a little bit, but it's not too bad. You can see shafts of light coming through the through the trees here. Tyler's in front of me. He's on his uh, 2019 KTM 300 XC. Oh. There we go. Look at that. That's cool. Just on the side of the mountain here. Side healing. Side healing like a boss. Uh oh, get your balance back. Okay. We rode, ended up being, what, 50, 50, 51 miles yesterday. And they weren't easy miles either. Yeah, this trail's sweet. Lots of exposure. That is a freaking long drop right down off my right. And there's Tyler on the 300XC. He's running the IRC VE33S Gakota tire. I'm running the Dunlop AT81EX. And Sam, if he comes around that corner, he's running the new Tusk Recon tire. Um, so we're playing with a bunch of tires today. 
This trail is awesome. A little bit of exposure, starting to get into it. Yeah, it's free. That that yeah. going down that that's a couple hundred feet down to the and down to the creek. Yeah. Up here, it, we're gonna stay this the whole way, and there's gonna be roots. And... That's awesome. So Sam's got the Tusk Recon tire on the 300 XCW TPI. So yesterday was really slick. And I don't know that any of the tires did super well, so we're gonna run that another day. Um, but it was, we were searching for traction everywhere. We were just in riding a couple things that were very loose and very skatey. So I don't think anyone felt like they had a, crap ton of traction yesterday. Some of the rocks that we were traversing, some of the granite rocks, they, we just didn't get the traction that I think a lot of us are used to getting. Anyway. Such a last to get up here. I've only been up here to this area uh, one other time and it was two years ago. And shoot. And we rode different trails. There was just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds, I should say thousands. There are many, many thousands of miles of single track in Idaho. Idaho, as far as summer Alpine mountain single track, I think Idaho is kind of the mecca for that. It doesn't get any better. It's very moto friendly. There's oodles and gobs of public land where there's all these, uh, you know, established trails that are dirt bike approved, you know, dirt bike open. And there's just so much of it here in Idaho. It's just kind of staggering to think about all that there is. And I've only scratched the surface in a couple little places by coming, making trips, you know, up in Idaho. I live in Utah. A lot of the riding, most of the riding you see in my channel is Utah. Obviously then I've been branching out and getting up here into Idaho doing more and more of that. Or more and more of this, I should say. In the summers. If you hang back just a bit from the guy in front of you, there's really no dust. Now we do have a smaller group, so it's easier to do that because we've only got three in our group. I prefer not to ride in the larger groups. Four or five is my kind of max comfort level. I prefer three to four total in a group. You get more than that and then you just, there's a lot of waiting around for people. 